Welcome to Poon Gamer. Have you ever wondered what would happen if a superpower country were to be invaded and go from a shining beacon to a complete war zone? This is the premise behind today's title, Homefront. An action based game with a cool backdrop setting and written by John Mellis, who is known for writing Red Dawn. Go Wolverines! What could possibly go wrong? It would seem everything in this case. From the get go, this game is an utter mess. The gameplay is a direct clone of Modern Warfare, yet the controls feel a hell of a lot more clunky. Enemy AI is ridiculous, being able to 100% hit you with deadly accuracy from any range and at any angle. Then at other times, they will sit behind cover but have themselves completely exposed. And if it was not for this floor, you probably would not get past certain areas. The game becomes frustrating to play as you continually get killed from a random spawning enemy from the side or behind you. On the topic of AI, you receive a squad that journeys with you through the story, but they are utterly useless in firefights. You can sit back and watch them shoot into a cradle barrel directly in front of them for hours. The game is broken in many parts. Movement over terrain will have you constantly getting snagged on badly mapped areas. The friendlies in the game will constantly block your path, and the collision zones will actually push you in the open of firefights many times over. Even during cutscenes you will see flaws like a soldier shooting while not actually even holding a gun, or running through a gate that has played the sound effects of opening, but it is still closed. Some would see these as minor mistakes, but it really shows how poorly presented this game is. We have a complete mess in the gameplay section, but perhaps the story can bring in some comfort. Again, not in this case. There is no real story apart from getting from point A to B and then having an abrupt ending. The game took 3 hours to play. It has no content or replayability whatsoever. It is completely linear. There was no need for a writer to come in and even write the story. The characters are all bland and you will never feel for any of them. With the occasional scenes of oppression being the only emotional driving parts of the story. Multiplayer has a bit of an addictive quality about it, having the same set out as most have today. You will gain experience and level which allows you to kit out your players with different weapons. It seems it's tried to take features from many first person shooters, giving you vehicles as well. But again, the clunky controls come across into multiplayer. The poor map design is apparent here as well. For example, jumping out of a window or onto a platform are a struggle in this game. Finally, graphics and audio. Again, not much can be said for these either. While the audio is satisfactory, there are some unusual instances. For example, during the end scene, music will only be played from the left side, while commentary on the right side. Nowhere else was this technique used throughout the game, and it felt out of place. Graphics on the other hand are below satisfactory unfortunately. Using an aging engine made the game feel out of date. While level design and textures all looked great and gave you a real sense of being in that urban America scene, it was the choice of a dated game engine which brought the score back in visuals. To summarise, the game is all action with no story. It is broken in many ways and shocking gameplay ruins this title. I must admit I am not a fan of the modern warfare style gameplay and this sets the game back for me even more, but there is still a light at the end of the tunnel. The ridiculously short 3 hour single player campaign may give way to a sequel where the developers THQ can majorly improve on what seems to have potential. Unfortunately this title will get a 5 out of 10. On your left. They're closing. Hopper, light the candle. Copy that. Launching white phosphorus. Oh my god. Jesus, I can tell I'm burning. Put him out of their misery. Hopper, where's our second round? 